So, I'm actually redoing this video. Uh, didn't upload the first one. It happens a lot of times. Okay, a lot of people talk about the secret and the power of in a law of attraction and the power of intention. That's all fine and good. Uh, though I'm going to do this one a bit differently for... Uh, what do you call it, for some of my atheist friends out there and people who aren't necessarily into spirituality, like I am. Uh, a lot of people say, when you intention, you should have a dream board and you should have images of what you want to see. And actually, I find that, and a lot of other psychics and spiritualists and other people who are into this find that actually stuff you intention strictly from images you see in your mind backfires. It backfires colossally. And that's because your mind works like a bureaucracy. It's got forms to fill out and it looks at what boxes have been ticked and what hasn't been ticked. Your mind can't imagine something without imagining, roughly speaking, its opposite. Even if its opposite is not much. So, basically, what a lot of people I've been talking to have said is, um, you've got an intention from the heart. And once your heart is guiding your intention, it, everything works out and there's no backlash. Now, regardless of whether you think that's a spiritual rule or not, I'll tell you this much. When human beings self-sabotage, it's because we're trying to visualize something. And even if we're saying, I don't want something, you're still saying in your head, it must exist separate of this, which means that must exist to make it separate. You can't say you've separated from something if that other thing is not in fact there. So, what I've realized is that even if you don't believe in the power of intention or anything, self-sabotage, which is what keeps a lot of people down, is based off us envisioning the wrong thing without even realizing it. And we are in a very image-heavy society. So, try, if you can, to see something and see what your emotional state is without physical sensations or the images coming in your eyes or the thoughts you're having about it. Try and see what your feelings are. It's harder to do than it, think, than it sounds. I'm Leslie Griffin. Have a good afternoon.